Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, you've tuned into the right place. You're watching Naturally Dr. Tash. And if you're new here, my name is Natasha. So today I'm back with another what I eat video because the first one I posted got a very, very good reception. So I decided that I'm gonna be making more of these what I eat in a day videos because I believe that people are just curious to know, you know, what, what exactly I'm eating on a plant-based diet or, you know, on a vegetarian, vegan diet, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm basically here to demystify um, the concept that you know being on a plant-based diet you're just going to be chewing on grass Chewing on grass You know the whole day. No, that's not true I'm here to show you that plant-based diets are not boring. They are super exciting You can have a lot of fun with them. So in today's episode, I'm going to also show you how I make my chicken cauliflower and a whole lot more thank you for watching my videos for those of you who religiously watch my videos thank you for commenting liking and subscribing by the way have you checked out my latest post where i make my own mayonnaise at home if you haven't here's the link and without further ado let's get into what i ate one of my breakfast favorites is making a nice hearty oats and um, for this oats i typically like cooking it with a coconut milk because coconut milk just gives it that nice creamy texture so i use part coconut milk and part water so you can cook the oats until it is well done and if you need more water you can add as you go So after cooking the oats, I topped my oats with fruit because it just tasted to a whole nother level. I mean, who wants to eat a boring bowl of oats? So I used bananas, strawberries, blueberries, and then I just garnished it with a little bit of chia seeds. You may also drizzle a little bit of honey or maple syrup just to give it a little bit of sweetness. So you all know I love fruit. So I had a fruit salad which had kiwi, cherry tomatoes, some mango and of course peach slices. Another thing I love are coconut products. So I just topped off my fruit salad with this coconut cream and boy oh boy was it delicious. For supper, I like making chicken cauliflower. So to do that, you have to cut your fresh cauliflower into pieces that are big enough to fry. I like cutting mine into medium sized bits as it will help in the resemblance of chicken drums. I'm feeling high. Now this is where the fun starts. We are going to be making a batter and for that we'll be needing all purpose flour, some pepper, some ground garlic and of course some chicken spice and i'm using a spice that i've had that i've got all the way from home 
that's what makes it so special and it just gives it that nice flavor so then we just mixed everything together So to complete the batter, we're going to need a mixture of wet ingredients. So I'm using one tablespoon of sriracha, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and you're going to need a plant-based milk or water, but plant-based milks work better. So I'm using coconut milk because that's what I had. And then I just mixed. So we're going to mix the dry and the wet ingredients together and then we're going to whisk in order to make the batter. Make sure that your batter is not of a wet consistency, it should be smooth. Next step is to dip the cauliflower in the batter and then add to a medium heated oil pan and then make sure that you fry until it's golden brown. Also, don't forget to turn over the cauliflower to make sure that it is not burning at all times. And there you go cauliflower in a way you thought it could never be made guys you really have to try this recipe this is taking cauliflower to a whole new level later on i made a corn cob salad and for that of course you're gonna need a cob of corn to top off the salad i just put in some cherry tomatoes and cucumber very quick and simple And for the dressing, I use my very own vegan mayonnaise that I made. If you haven't checked out the video, here's the link again. And I then just drizzled it with a little bit of lemon juice. And yeah, that was it. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed watching my video and of course I hope you learned something from it and took something from it and it inspires you to incorporate more plant-based eating in your lifestyle that's it from me I have to finish my dinner <laughs> I'll see you guys next time <laughs>